All right, blessed to be bros. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Bohemian, why did I say blessed to be tarot? That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Bohemian bro tarot. And today we are doing a video on what makes you beautiful, okay? Inside and out, right? Because that's how I do, all right? Deep love on this channel, okay? Um, okay, so I have three cards for you to choose from. Um, I'm gonna put them up on the next screen. Uh, pause the video as you will. You can choose however you want to. Choose whatever pile fits you or whatever piles. As there's no wrong way of doing this. Um, and for all the piles that probably be recorded, listen, my dog, I gave my dog a new bone, two of them. So enjoy her excited chewing throughout. All right. But um, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put it up on this next screen. And I will see you guys at your respected piles. All right. Cool. So number one, pardon the dog in the background just chewing on the bone, but <laughs> these are your piles to choose from for today's reading on what makes you beautiful. We have a pile one, pile two, and pile three. Um, so you can go ahead and pause the video here and choose however you like, and I will see you guys in your selected piles. Blessed be, bro. All right, blessed be, bro. Welcome to your pile, pile one. And this is your pile if you chose focus. Thank you. The Two of Cups card, okay? So right off the bat, we're getting a lot of romance here, okay? So the people, so this could mean that the people looking in on you or who makes you beautiful, you may have this romantic energy where people tend to really fall in love with you, right? Which is fucking obvious, right? Because if you have the Two of Cups energy, it's that it doesn't, and it doesn't mean you have to always be romantic in a sense or has to be romantic in a sense, but it's more so like this energy of, someone who has a lot of love to give and you just don't mind giving it right you don't mind being someone who loves hard you could be someone who loves hard right you don't mind being someone who loves really intensely you don't mind being someone who may look awkward right it's like it's like that person where like i'm getting this like image of someone like tripping over somebody and it's like you don't mind it right um Okay, I just heard uh, this could be some people who also trip off of you as well. So you could trip people up, right? They may not know what to do. I don't know why I keep looking at the, like, not just the cups, but the actual hearts themselves. They look like jewels, right? You could be someone who is very rare. And uh, <laughs> Spirit is just like, duh, if you love somebody unconditionally, it's pretty rare. Especially in these days, and especially these days and age. Not only because of how people really maneuver through this world, honestly. But, ooh. Wow, yeah, like, okay, so, yeah, so we have the Eight of Swords here, right? Like, Gemini energy, that energy of just, like, any, every Gemini I've met, I have my hangups about, but like, <laughs> every Gemini I've ever been, had the uh, honor of being friends with, they are someone who does love hard, right? And they are the, they're the lovers, oh my God, they're the lovers, right? Oh my, that's so crazy. They're the lovers of the Zodiac, that's so, that's so funny. But then also, okay, I don't know why, but I just looked down at the eight, and so I just got eighth house, so like, uh, you could be Scorpios, or you could be someone who's just very sexy, right? A um, couple things came out with the whole Gemini thing. So like, another one, Geminis are ruled by, I think, what's their moving planet? Oh, damn. I forgot their ruling plan. I think it's, is it Mercury? Yeah, because I think Mercury rules communication, right? Like, you could be someone very talkative. Like, ooh, King of Pentacles as well. Right? Someone who is like, like, okay. So not only are you someone who can like, because with the Eight of Swords, I'm getting someone who is very, how do I put it? Like, like there are doubts and fears that you have about love, right? You're not someone who just loves unconditionally, like, idiotically right like you're not someone who's like will fall for anybody or anything but it's like when you do give your it's like when you do give your love you give your all and that's what makes you beautiful right it makes you so much more addictive so much more alluring right but not only that it, it's the way i think what people love about you is that like it's like you it's like you, you all those fears that you have you cast them aside you cast them aside because you realize that the person that's in front of you like i said it doesn't have to be romantic it can be platonic it can be familiar right whoever you are with and around you make them feel like the only person in the world right like you make them feel like you give them the courage to cast out their fears cast out their 
hang-ups about love, right? Mm. Cran apple juice. I don't care nobody says that shit's dope. And the two best juices. But it's not just someone who is casting out fears. And it's not even like... Because I'm also getting, you may not be, it's not like someone cast, people cast away their fears and doubts for love for you, but it's like they cast out their fears and doubts be like to love you. You know what I mean? Like, no, you don't. Let me <laughs> explain it, right? That's what the fuck I'm for. But what I mean is when people come in contact with you, there is this energy that you give off that immediately tells them that it's okay for them to love you, right? It's okay for them to show you who they are because you're someone, like I said, you're someone who may get very clumsy in love, right? Like you may be the person who may slip up and say, I love you by accident, right? Not that, not that you don't mean it or not that you do mean it, right? Not the point, but the point is like, you'll like, for example, you could be having a chat with like your friend or whatever in the car late night while smoking a blunt, right? And then like, out of nowhere, like, you're just like, oh my God, I love you. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic, it be platonic, right? Just, and your friend feels that love and you giving your like, and it's not even that like, and it's like, you could, and, and you know, I'm be honest and say, you could probably feel embarrassed in those moments and be like, oh, damn, I didn't mean it like that. Or like, I, I didn't mean to say it like that. But it's like, the people who people who see you, they find that to be a beautiful quality you have, a beautiful energy that you have. And it encourages them to cast away their embarrassment, their fears, their doubts, right? Like, instead of being, and, and while you may think they'd be like, oh, wow, that's cringy, it's not. Like, to people who see you and people who are with you and around you, to them, it's a beautiful instance where they're like, oh, so I can say it too. And they're like, no, I love you too. You're awesome. Like, you're great. You're perfect, right? But then also we have the King of Pentacles, right? But the energy of someone who's like realistic, right? Who's solid. Like, you really stand in who you are and you know who you are, right? You're not someone who will, oh, God. Is it is it technically a card you're supposed to take if you flip it backwards? I'll take it. Whatever. Eight, five, four. That, mm, well, I forgot seven and six. So you also have the queen of wands. So, oof, spirits from the top. Oh god, they're backwards. Oh, I hate when I do this with no cards. Oh, look at that easy solve. <laughs> easy fix. Um, but yeah, you're someone who is right. Like you, like you. Oh god, I'm about to put down because if I flip through them. But I like to flip while I'm talking. That's so weird. Is that a weird thing to do as a reader? Am I the only one who does that? Like, if you're a reader, like, let me know. Are you someone who, like, I like to flip. I don't know why. Flipping through cards makes me feel... Well, sometimes I can pick up more energy than I'm really tending to. But anyways, yeah, back to the card. Um, <laughs> right, like, it's kind of, kind of energy where you are focused on yourself, right? You're not someone who is... You're not someone who is very... Okay, whatever. I just... These? Okay. Not gonna lie. This is the one deck in my tarot collection at the moment that like, I'm not fond of. I bought these from, where did I get these from? It was, you wouldn't believe where I got them from too, because I was shocking. I remember I just, oh, what the fuck was it? What's the name of that store? Damn, I haven't shopped on like, oh, that's crazy. Not important, I guess, but like, I got it from a clothing store, which is shocking. But yeah, you're someone who, when you come through adversity, you come through problems, you have practical ways of solving them, right? You're not someone who is easily deterred by harsh situations or hard situations. And as I was flipping through the deck right here, the tower card was on my finger. And I was going to take it, but I was like, nah, because it was just flipped over and weird. But yeah, no, like, like you're someone who you may not be afraid of tower moments because it's like a way for you to prove to even just to yourself how capable you are of handling these situations, right? And it may not even be that because I'm also getting someone who's like, not, I mean, no one wants a tower moment really, but like <laughs> sometimes because I think tower moments have very different meanings for me as well. Um, but that's a different conversation. But you're like someone who, it's not like you invite tower moments, but it's like you don't mind if they come because it's like a way for you to go, oh, okay, well, I will handle this and you'll look for the best solution. It's like your mind is something that is beautiful to people because it's, it's like it's like people watch you face the unexpected, right? It's like they watch you go through the things you go through and come out the other side 
unscathed. And maybe, and you're probably not unscathed because every situation, everything we go through always has an imprint on us, whether we like it or not, right? Positive or negative, better or for worse, things leave an imprint on us. But what's the most important is that when you go through these situations, you come out looking like you've triumphed, right? Even if you, I mean, you have triumphed, you come out on the other side, even if it's like, even if you walk through, like, okay, that's crazy. So I just got this weird analogy. You're some, <laughs> spirit's funny. I'm funny. Anyways, um, I just got this image of somebody, ugh, this is the weirdest thing, but I'm gonna say that, okay. You're someone who could walk through, you can come out of a burning building, right, with just the shirt on your back. Maybe some pants for discretion, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could literally come out with absolutely nothing and look like the fire didn't even touch you, right? Like the clothes, your clothes could have burned off. Your skin could be a little singed, right? But like you look absolutely amazing. It's like you could be like, I'm getting this image of someone who's like, I just heard firebender. What's crazy? Cause we got the queen of wands too. Um, Okay, spirit. They just tell me you're very versatile as well. That's what also makes you beautiful. Like, and back to that practical energy, you're someone who can look at different aspects of, you know what's crazy? So, okay, so this is why. But if I flip through these cards again, if I get the magician, I'm a fucking flip because it's crazy. So right now we have the eight of swords, we have the five of pentacles, we have, sorry, we have the king of pentacles and the queen of wands, right? Three different suits, right? Air, earth, and fire. Right, I'm so, maybe, mm. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to see you come. I'm gonna see if you guys have a water card that might come out. But like, you, like you embody all of it, right? You're not someone who's was known as a monolith, right? A monolith is someone who is just one, like a one note character, right? Like you're, I just heard death note. <laughs> no, like you're someone who embodies all energies, right? Like the magician energy, right? The energy of being able to conjure up any solution, but not only because you have been through something before right and you you look you're looking at things realistically it's because you look through all facets right like so here, what's a belief i uh, i'm gonna say what's a belief i have i have many beliefs but one of them <laughs> that i have is that um i think we all embody i mean more i mean mostly because of your charts obviously like your birth chart is more than just your big three but like i think that Everybody embodies a little bit of each energy from each zodiac sign. And even if you don't, right, you may have like one sign, you may not have any at all in your chart, right? But in my opinion, I think through the year, I think each zodiac sign for each season teaches us something that we should do that gets us through the year, right? And so for me, if like for example, the Capricorn season is right now, right? And if I'm in Capricorn season and a problem comes up, I'm gonna use the Capricorn energy to get through it, right? I'm gonna use that Cancer energy to get through it through Cancer season, right? However that works for me and however that works for you, right? It's like, it, it's like that kind of mentality. It's like, you're not, only just beautiful, right? Because the Queen of Wands is someone who is gorgeous, right? Someone who is absolutely, uh, I don't say alluring. I don't know if alluring is the word, but it's like simply just attractive. Like you're just someone who is attractive. You're someone where people wonder about you. When they wonder who you are, what you're like on, you know, on the inside or outside. And when I say outside, I mean like you could be like at work or something, right? And you'll have a customer come in or a coworker who then they all just wonder like, what? What do what do they like? Like that's crazy. Don't to take it. I don't know. Sometimes when I flip, you know what? Fuck up. I, I'm not very fond of getting like four to five fucking different cards when I flip through, but Spirit is always like, well, we did it anyway. So thanks, Spirit, because what would we be without you? Sorry, I wanna get... I'll do these. Okay, I'm gonna get an Oracle. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Fool card, we have Justice, and we have Death. Wow, that's a lot. Um. A lot of different aspects to your character though but we love it because hey let's get into it okay so i'm going to start with the queen of wands because i don't think i really got into that card but like 
you have this natural confidence and that confidence comes from who you are, right? That ability to problem solve using all aspects of your nature, all aspects of who you are, right? And when I mean all aspects, I simply mean like everything that you've learned, everything that you have incorporated into your internal wisdom, right? That is your internal wisdom that you use for other people. That is the internal wisdom that you use for yourself and people watch it and see from outside looking in, right? And they have no idea what you've been through. They have no idea what you've truly gone through, but they can see it for the most part right and i don't think like i think you may be someone who attracts a lot of um <clears throat> what makes you beautiful i think you may be someone who is full of love and all we are all beings of love i don't know some people maybe were born out of revenge sex but that's not my <laughs> i have a really cynical way of thinking sometimes and i'm like <laughs> let me tell you why so like plot twist so like i am adopted right but i know my birth parents and like i talked to my birth mom one time and she hates my birth dad and i'm like god what the... but like if but i'm a scorpio so technically nine months from november is february which means i'm probably a valentine's day baby <laughs> but i'm like i wonder how many people are like born out of like revenge or like hate sex <laughs> that's, that's that's a dumb thought but it's something i think about um but yeah, you just have this, you have this confidence that is so unwavering and maybe not unwavering in your internal sense because we all have days where we feel highs and lows, right? We all have moments where we feel highs and lows. But from the outside looking in, what makes you beautiful is that like people, they see you and you could have like a quiet confidence, right? It's kind of like, in, even as this card, like she look, she's looking, but she's kind of looking, like focus. She's looking sideways, right? She's looking to her side not right in front of her it's like you it's like you, you could have people who are attracted to you and romantic and otherwise but i think you're someone who is just so full of love and such a beautiful energy that you attract all kinds of people people really feel just at home with you they feel like inspired by you is what i'm getting right and underneath the and I thought, listen i always love the way spirit thinks to those things because even the placement of the cards is so funny to me intriguing to me i'll say that because i love my mind's very i'm an intj so Oh, that's a conversation because I, in one video I said I'm an INFJ and I was, but then I took the test again and I think my personality keeps changing based on different, I took the test three times, you know, and I, listen, INTJ fits. <laughs> but underneath the Queen of Wands, we have the death card, right? Growth always means leaving something behind. Like you, you, like I said, that energy of you don't mind like the tower card, right? You don't mind the energy of leaving something behind. You're re you're ready and welcoming to change. You're someone who can go through the through into the thick of it. I'm sorry, into the thick of it. Oh, okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> but fuck it, I forget that. I'm just flipping the card over. But you're someone who can go through the thick of it and come out looking absolutely amazing, right? And even in this death card, he's a skeleton, but he looks okay. Like, he looks fine. He, he's totally no bother. He's got a beautiful horse, you know what I'm saying? And it's like... <laughs> this is the craziest thing. I just got this message. You could be like a Scorpio, because it's a Scorpio card, and like, I just think it's funny because I was Scorpio, bird, and like, you could be dead inside. Not like that, but like, people who look at, like, people who look at, like, the death card thing. I don't know. Like, you know, you know what the, you know, okay, you know what I'm getting? This is gonna be, I'm getting this energy of someone who may look scary on the outside, but like really beautiful, like really bubbly on the inside. And maybe that's what like makes you beautiful is that like you come off looking like someone who may like choke the hell out of somebody. You may have like have RBF, resting bitch face, right? But it's like you truly are someone who just gets through it like you control yourself you don't mind like when i say control yourself i mean like you recognize that like you can't control everything in life right you can't control the people's reactions to you you can't control people's outcomes you can't even control situational outcomes you can only do what's best for you and get the outcome that you hope you desire right hope you desire that you desire the most <laughs> but even then we have justice as well Right? And I love how justice kind of sits between the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, right? It's like you have this energy of king and queen, like masculine and feminine, right? And <clears throat> between that, like, it's like your balance, right? A balanced energy. That's because what I, uh, I love. Jumble. Love that. Love that channeling energy for me. But what makes you beautiful is that you have this king and queen energy and you are just balanced in it. You're not someone who has a huge ego or someone who will use that in, to, a, to disadvantage everybody else, right? It's like you don't walk in a place and 
you, like you don't walk in somewhere and boast about your king and queen energy. You're not someone who purposely tries to get that. Like you're not in your head thinking, oh, I'm going to be the queen of wands right now. I'm going to be the king of wands. No, you're like someone who just embodies it. You just do what you do. You don't tell people what you're doing. And that's where like, okay, I just heard also like the death card could be a symbolism of how mysterious you are. Like you could be someone who mysteriously goes through a lot of different changes, right? Like you could be someone who either you have a lot of different wardrobes, you have a lot of different hairstyles, you have a lot of different just ways of existing and people don't recognize you because it's like the moment you, they think of you one way, it's like you could instantly shift into another way of thinking, another way of being and completely shatter what someone's image of you already was. But that's what makes you beautiful is that they don't know who they're gonna get today. And maybe that's like back to that, you know, that Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles energy where it's like, you walk into a room and they don't know who they're gonna get today, right? But it's like every, it's like everywhere you walk into, it's like you could present as the Queen of Wands, someone who is just instantly attractive, instantly just beautiful inside, like outside in, right? Like even the people who are looking at from the outside just see a beautiful being, but they have no idea that you're this King of Pentacles. They have no idea that like, you're this practical way of, you have a practical way of thinking. You have a more organized, right? You, you you're, someone who has good character you're intelligent right like you're you're stable on the inside right you're not someone who okay i just heard this so um fun fact psychologically people will people who see beautiful people or attractive people your mind will either believe they are stupid or mean and that's not me being a dick that's real fact so if you ever like meet a pretty person your first two instincts are either that you're going to be really ignorant or really mean because that's just how people are perceived in society, especially because of old movies from the 2000s. Like, you ever think you're pretty? You ever see, like, the pretty person with the antagonist? And it's like, why? Why? But <laughs> it's that energy. Like, people look at you one way and they just put all, they may project onto you. And the moment you open your mouth and they get to know you, or even if they don't get to know you, right? Because it may be difficult to get to know you as a being, right? Because you are someone maybe who's a little bit more private. Um, it's just what I'm getting. <clears throat> but it's like... Oh, I'm so sorry. Spirit just gives me messages. Look at Every time she sniffs the leaves, she wants to go out, but not go out, but go to the park. And I'm like, if I say it, I have to take her. <laughs> we went yesterday, but that's not the point. Anyways, so what we were telling me that like the first row is like how you are perceived on the outside in. But underneath the second row is what you are on the inside, right? You're someone who constantly goes through changes. You're someone who is completely um, balanced. You, you you look for truth. You look for clarity, right? That justice card of being, being well balanced enough not to have a biased opinion. Like you're not someone who, you're someone who will make a judgment about somebody, but not a judgment that is like a rude one, right? But you're like, you're for example, if someone shows you an, a, a flaw in their character and I don't want to say flaw but like you know what I mean like if someone coming up to you and they're comment and they're conversing with you right and then like they keep cutting you off and well you're not doing the same because you're listening it's like you'll take that and then you're, when I say judgment I'll be like you'll take that and note it right you'll be like okay well note that he cuts people off so maybe you have to cut some conversations to a minimum like and you know, that's that's like someone you are right and therefore coming to that death energy where like the next time they'll talk to you they'll be like oh you're not really interested it's like oh well you know I'm not rude or anything, but just, you know, you have a tendency to cut people off. So I'm not, you know, really interested in having a conversation. They're like, oh, what? Like, I do it to everybody else. I can't do it to you. And you're like, no. <laughs> Why? Because I'm pretty. You think you do it to me? No, sir. No, no ma'am. Not at all. No. <laughs> and it just shocks them, right? But you also have this full energy of someone who is ready for a journey. Ready for someone. Ready. Not ready for. Maybe you are ready for someone. Maybe you might not think it. But maybe you're ready for someone. Hey. Yeah. I, I just give the messages. Don't take what resonates. Um... But it's like you are someone who's addicted to excitement. You're someone addicted to journey. Like, like you don't mind starting a new journey over. You don't mind embarking on new and different things, things that keep you excited, things that keep you in the moment, right? Like they, they keep you, 2222 as I said that, um, they keep you in real time. And I think that's what, what makes you beautiful, right? Is that like a lot of people these days, they either, another fun fact, so psychologically, <laughs> I think we all know this, but like if you'd have it, if you don't know, people psychologically also think of two things, the past or the future, and re remaining in the moment is very difficult. Very difficult. Because um, your mind is either going to think about things that already happened that you wish you could change or things that you want to change in the future. 
I don't know. I, and believe me, I trust me. It's true. I can't. I, sometimes I'll be in the shower and I'm like, I'm thinking like, oh, God, like, oh, I can't wait till like I move to my new department. And then like, it's really a great. It's like, just, just enjoy the fucking shower now. <laughs> but then also like back to that energy of like where you'll correct somebody like the ten of wands and being able to like. It's like you literally take on the bird. Like, okay, okay two, I got two things. So it's like one, the first thing I was getting was you are someone who can walk away. You can walk away. Like you're not someone who's going to take the same shit from somebody over and over and over again and then let it persist, right? You're someone who's going to be like, okay, I've had enough the first two times, right? And the first time you're like, okay, you may note something. The second time you're like, see if it still persists. And the third time you're just done. Like you're not, I'm not doing that again, right? And that's very shocking to people because, you know, a lot of people expect people to just take their shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know what I just got? I just got the image of somebody who's like, you could have people walk up to you and tell you like their problems. And like, sometimes it's like, I'll be an open ear. But then like, also I got the image of someone being like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> like, I don't know you, stranger. And I get why you're doing it. Everyone goes through something, but it's like, not me, not today, not right now. And that could be for something very shocking. But um, the reason, next thing I was gonna say was that like you'll carry the burden of being the bad guy, but that ties exactly to what I just finished saying because like because of that, people may look at you as like a hard ass or someone who's just difficult or whatever they want to project onto you that is somewhat negative in the context. And I will always say, check your ego, make sure you're not being just mean. But like, I think like you're someone who can carry the burden or you tend to carry the burden of being the bad guy in the situation because like you'll be honest, you'll be true, like you'll be truthful, and like what makes you beautiful is that you don't fall, like you don't falter on that. That is your belief. That's your moral code, right? You're someone who's just going to be a balanced being. You're someone who's going to, you don't mind sh like sheltering that weight, right? Of being the bad guy. Cause it's like bad guy just means that like people don't like me and you don't have to like me, right? You don't have to like, people don't have to like you, right? You're beautiful because you just are. You're beautiful because of who you are inside and out. You choose to be a balanced being. You choose to focus on your own journey. You choose to focus on your own self. You choose to correct the things that are wrong when they need correcting, not in a harsh manner, not in a rude or impolite way. You just do it in a way that says, hey, Oh shit. I don't want to take this. <laughs> I'm not going to take it. And that's okay. And I will leave that there, Power Warm. What? You did that wrong. Man. Sorry, my dog's underneath the table and I had for Anyways, I'm going to leave that there, Pod One. If the video resonated with you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, share the video with anybody who needs it. Um, oh, let me say, I'm gonna say, I feel like I'm going to say this in every video, but like, thank you to everybody who's just been supporting me lately. My channel's been growing, and just the comments I've been getting has been very... Just heart... I, I, only, I can only say heartwarming. Like, I can't, I can't describe to you the feeling I get when I read your comments. Um... And I promise to respond to more of them. I'm, I'm trying to set time aside to do that because, like, I want to respond to them because some of them are just very, like, really? Like, <laughs> anyways, um, <laughs> I will see you at your next pile if you chose another pile, or I'll see you at the next video, the next upload. Um, I will say, I have a collaboration coming up soon, which I'm really excited for. So, first one I've ever done ever. So, I'm really excited. But um, I will leave it there, guys, and I will see you guys next time, all right? Blessed be, bros. Have a good morning, night, evening, or whenever you're watching this. So, sorry. <laughs> Blessed be, bros. Welcome back to my channel. Why did I think I was from the fucking intro? That's crazy. Okay, that's like the, that's the second one on top. It's a, it's a deja vu moment. Anyways. Blessed be bros, welcome to another video. Um, welcome to your pile, pile two. This is your pile if you chose. Dun, 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 the six of swords. Right, lovely. So immediately I'm getting someone who is mentally strong, someone who is able to walk away from situations and, ooh, another six, that's cool. Someone who's able to walk away from situations and like, the Six of Swords is some, like the energy of someone who can walk away from the situation but be mindful of what you take, right? Being 
careful about what you bring to the future with you, bring it to your new journey. And that could be anything physical or mental, right? And I'm getting someone who is just able to say, hey, this doesn't work for me. Okay, I'll take that. This doesn't work for me and I need to move on, right? Like what makes you beautiful is that you don't stay in situations that keep you stagnant, right? And it's almost like you choose to want to elevate, right? Elevation and um, evolution, right, is a choice, right? You choose to either stay in a place that has left you feeling whatever you're feeling in the negative sense, right? Or you can choose to go on and find something new, right? If you're in a relationship with somebody and they're not making you feel fulfilled or not making you feel, I don't say fulfilled, but like, I'm going to say not making you feel as someone should if you, should, <laughs> as someone should if you have them in your life, right? You're easy, you're someone who can easily get rid of them. And I know that sounds harsh, but like, maybe that is, maybe it's what makes you beautiful is that you're harsh. And in and, and a place where people have been so soft lately, like, I say place, I mean, like the world has been very very lenient on a different a lot of different things if I'm being honest on like things that make sense and things that like are wrong and it's like you are someone who can deliver justice by choosing what's right right like you choose what's right for you you don't try to force that upon anybody else you don't try to okay I I, I hate when I get down in the middle of fucking speech but um I just got the message of someone who is a genuinely good person that's what makes you beautiful pile two is that you're a genuine good person not someone who will say they're a good person and you know it's like those people who will say they're a good person but they're only ever say they're a good person when they're hurt by somebody like i don't know why this happens to me i'm such a good person and it's like are you examining that are you justifying why you shouldn't have been on the receiving end of a shit deal because you chose to be in that situation and now you're saying you're a good person so it shouldn't happen to you. You know what I mean? Like people who do that kind of make me sick because wow, <laughs> being a good person does not mean you can't have shitty things in life happen to you. But like you are someone who <clears throat> like, cause I have, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you which cards we have. We have the six of pentacles, the two of swords, and then we have the 10 of swords, right? It's like, you're someone who you're a good person because you've been on both sides of the scale, right? You've been on the receiving end of people's kindness and you've been on the receiving end of people's I don't want to say evilness but like the, the sometimes there are just negative things that happen in life and it's like you know what okay um spirit does want me to say this evilness of others but it's like not in the way that they think so you could be on the receiving you could have been on the receiving end of other people's ugliness oh there it is that's the word okay other people's ugliness but it's like you don't see it as you don't see it as a good or bad thing you're like someone who will see people's ugliness and take it for what it is right you're not someone who will go and instead like Okay, you could have, like, it's like when you get in an argument with somebody, instead of, like, taking revenge or trying to prove a point, it's like you will prove the facts first. And then when they, if, like, someone is still kind of in that stage where they're trying to be like, oh, well, this means this and this means, it's like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that. And, like, you'll just walk away instead of, like, okay, you're someone who will walk away in the middle of an argument instead of being like, fuck you, bitch. You know what I mean? And not that you won't, because I'm pretty sure everyone goes through a situation where they're like, man, fuck you. But like, I just mean that like it, in a balanced way of thinking, right? In in a place where, and in, in less high emotional, and maybe sometimes even in high emotional situations, you are someone who will choose the practical way out and not practical in the way that just logically, right? Like, not just like, oh, well, this doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be someone who's in an argument and like, you, you'll you choose the way, you you choose practicality instead of being someone who just hurdles different, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God, what am I trying to say? Like, instead of being like, fuck you, bitch, you'll be like, okay, well, this is not gonna go in anywhere. We can come back to the conversation or never come back to it again. You know what I mean? Like, you'll choose to walk away because what's the point of this? What's the point in being someone who is hateful to the world towards the world spiteful someone who is like 
jaded by the world as well. Like people who end up like thinking the whole world's against them and not just in the sense of like the people they're around, but like also mean like people think the world is out to get them. Like they'll never be able to come up on anything. You'll, they'll never be able to find success because the whole, like because the, the world is rigged for us to fail. And like, no, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like you're someone who sees the brighter side of every situation. <laughs> Dude, that is so funny. So that is an iCarly lyric. I don't know why the hell I didn't think about that for before. Like, and that is just what I, that's what was in my fucking head where I couldn't think. Um, you're someone who sees the brighter side of every situation and not in the way that you look at positivity in a very toxic light, right? Not, to you know, if you don't know what toxic positivity is, that is nothing can go wrong at all. And it's like, no, 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 it can go wrong, bitch. You just have to look on the brighter side of things, right? Glass half full instead of glass half empty. It's like, I, I'm getting this energy. What makes you beautiful is that you can look at the glass half empty and half full because a lot of times people will tell you, no, don't look at it glass half empty. And it's like, well... I'm normal and I'm a human being, so I'm fucking gonna. Like, I'm, like, I can't force my way. And maybe that's what makes you, there it is. That's what makes you beautiful, pal, too, is that like the entire time I've been trying to find the words that make sense. And it's like, you don't do that. You don't try to find the words that make sense. You just go with the moment and you use your wisdom and knowledge and things that you've acquired to make the best practical decision in that moment, whatever the moment calls for, right? Whether you're in an art, whether you're in an argument, whether you're in a place where you don't want to be in, whether you are in an environment, you don't want to be in job, house, family, otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, like you will choose the most practical thing that works for you because you know the only thing that you can control is you, right? You're someone who will, Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Okay, like the two, like the two of swords. I don't know, like, I keep trying to talk about the cards, this, but like, this is crazy. Um, like, you will listen to your inner voice, right? You will be someone who, like you're not someone who's indecisive. And that's what just makes you beautiful. That like, a lot of people come to people who are very indecisive, right? People who will, oh my God, like, I don't know what to do. Like, like you're someone who goes in the store and knows what you want. You're someone who, even if it's a split second decision, you know what you're going to, you, you know what you're going to eat, like for lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that you don't come by confusing situations, right? Or where you're like, oh well, what do I do? But it's like someone who will continue to, even in, when the world beats you down, you will still continue to get up because you know that getting up is the only thing you can do, right? You can either stay down. Okay, there's there's a line I have about life and you can call it harsh or what it is but like I'm not, I'm not wrong about this and every time i tell this to somebody they're like oh i guess you're right and i am right um there are only two things you can do about any situation remember i said this if you if ever hear you heard it here first okay there and i've had this thing for that's since it's high school i was like 15 because you tell people that they'd be like that's morbid i'm like but it's true though okay there are only two things you can do about any situation ever something or nothing that's it. There's only two things you can do, something or nothing. You can either do nothing and let it persist. Say the situation is too dire, right? Like for example, you could be dealing with people, right? And it's like, you can either say something or say nothing. You can either try to change something or change nothing. And sometimes you just have to realize, that's what I mean by like, you guys make the most practical decision in the moment because you can be someone who, death, death came out of power one as well. Maybe I'm gonna watch power one. But it's like, you will be someone who, like, you'll look at a person and be like, I can't change them. So I can either do, I can either do nothing or something. And nothing would mean staying in the situation or leaving. And you choose to do something and that is leaving. It's like people will look at you and think that like you won't do anything, but then you'll make a decision. Like you'll make a decision no matter how it feels to you. Like the Ten of Swords energy, right? You, you'll even if it means defeat, even if it means like you'll feel hopelessness for a while, it's like death. And that's okay, the death card just came out, right? Like you're someone who will embrace death, right? Like you'll, you'll like, for example, if you're going through breakup, right? You'll, you, what makes you beautiful is that you will do what's best for you. You will be someone who will go, this is gonna hurt if I break this off and I'm gonna have to go through my emotions and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be depressing and very sad. I'm gonna be angry one day, sad the next. And it's like, you know all that and you still make the best decision, right? And it could be that feeling of, <laughs> and it's so funny how two of swords is in the middle because it's pointing to like this or that. You can either, damn, I wish I could, oh, the way this thing just set out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on camera the way I see it, because it makes sense. But it's like, 
you see what I'm saying? It's like the two of swords is right in the middle of the six of pentacles and the ten of wands, and ten of wands, ten of swords. Like you can either, and it's like, it's giving me this, this or that energy. You can either be someone who will try to give back to people. You will give back that energy, even if it's just giving it to spirit. You will give to people. You're not someone to let the world shut you down, right? You're not someone to stay defeated. Like I said, things can feel like this, right? But things don't have to be that. You can choose to get up from your fight. You can choose to get up, right? That person laying there, he's dead, but then death also means rebirth, right? Rebirth into something new. And you're you're more you're someone who is more excited to change into something and shift into something new rather than staying on the ground. That's what makes you beautiful, right? You're someone who will get up and say, okay, I can still go on even though I still feel this way, right? Like, um, I was listening to a video on YouTube and they were talking about like getting past hard things. And one of the things that she said, it's a really affirming thing is that be present in yourself, right? Breathe in the moment and say, hey, this hurts me and this sucks right now and I'm getting through it. Like your things don't always have to be this triumphant energy all the time. Like sometimes it can be very shitty and you can still be someone who is like making the best decision, right? Like what makes you beautiful is that people will look at you in your hardships and in your, and I, don't, and I want them to think this is a struggle pile, but I think this is so based on your inner strength and your inner will is what makes you beautiful, right? You are someone who will go through the hardest things and people think they, that like it's over. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You guys really want me to check out pile one as well because I mentioned that because I was flipping through the cards and I was like, I wonder if the magician is going to come out. The magician came out for you, for you guys. Like you are also the death card came out in pile one too. So that's another reason. I guess that's a pretty bit. <laughs> I should have said that one first, but, but no, like I really, like this is what I mean, like you make your reality something real, you make your reality something that you want, instead of living in the energy of, and it's like, again, like, and it's so crazy, like, again, the, I just, I, I love the way things are set, I love, I love Tara so much, I do, but like the way things are set up, like right underneath this card, right, this energy of like feeling defeated, but knowing that you have all the tools available to you to use to get out of the situation. And it doesn't have to mean that you have things physically, like mentally, the things that you've learned, the thing, even the things that you've been through, the things that make you feel this Ten of Swords energy is a tool that tells you, I don't want to experience this again, or this is not something that I desire. I want to find something in opposition to this, right? I want to find the antithesis to this thing, right? I want to get out of the... Uh, Dude, I should have put ice in my cup. <clears throat> yeah, anyways. <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to do Oracle card because with the last pile, pile one, I never shut the hell up, so I didn't get to do it. <laughs> Maybe this is a continue. Maybe this feels like a continue with the pile one. I mean, it doesn't, but like, it's because it does feel different. But like, some of the things are very similar. But like, you are someone who will use everything you have available to you, Magician Energy. Show up, but focus. It's very shiny, okay. Like, you're someone who will use everything you have available to you, and even your intuition, right? And it's not just... And you know what makes you beautiful? And I just heard it. It's not that you just use your intuition. It's not like you go, intuition, give me the power. It's like, you will intentionally, like... I, I, like for, I just saw the moment. So for me, for example, I, when I meditate... Sometimes I'll meditate in my car because it's the clearest, but like wherever I'm at, I, just, I meditate in my car because it's the clearest amount of energy I have, right? The one place that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not inside or outside. It's separate from everything else. It's not connected to anything. It's just me. It's my car, right? So I'll sit in there and I'll meditate, right? And I'll talk to God and I'll, and I'll talk to my spirits, my angels, gods of the different cultures, right? I love them, right? And I will talk to my ancestors, my spirit guides, my spirit team, right? Whoever's presented to my spirit team at that moment. And I will say, hey, this is what I need. This is the problem I presented. I kind of want to get through it, right? And I will sit through it. Not only will I do, not only does my meditation include me brainstorming, right, with spirit to get different things, but it also involves me kind of talk. Sometimes I'll talk to spirit. That's another thing. Because in my car, I don't have to look crazy for everybody else. <laughs> I will talk to spirits. Sometimes I'll talk at like, you know the conversations you have in your shower? I have in my car, in my shower too, but but I'll have in my car, you know what I mean? And like, sometimes it'll help me get through whatever I'm going through. And I think that's what makes you, that's what makes you beautiful. And that's what I'm getting, right? That, that someone who will 
intentionally get out of the situation, right? You're not someone who will just like, maybe it'll just pass on by because maybe it will. But if it passes on by and you do absolutely nothing, that means you're still in the same fucking situation next time. It'll pass you by and you'll slip into another one, right? You'll be, you'll pass right into another situation that is very similar to the one you just left. It's like you, pal to are intentional with your actions. You are someone who says, I feel shitty. I don't want to feel this again. What do I need to do, right? Like you will not only, just, but that's what makes you, what I'm, simply what I'm trying to put was not only do you use things like your intuition, your tools available, you will use them with intention, right? You will see, you, like you'll set out time to go think about your problems. You'll set out time to go work on the solutions, right? And I mean, when I, when I say work on the solutions, I also mean, right? Again, that magician energy, someone who will go to, like if you're someone who's like, oh, uh, I need, this one thing from the store in order, to, in order to make this meal, right? You're not someone who goes, well, maybe I can, or I don't know what I can do. Or, I don't feel like going to. It's like you either, again, you're someone who decides to do nothing or something. Do you need that fucking tomato for the recipe? Yeah, so you gotta go get it. And even, and it's like, I, I don't wanna tell you. I don't, but I'm gonna, boom. Adaptation. You adapt to the situations around you and continue on. You're not someone who stays stuck. Like, and I'm just, I'm just, and the, the, what really made me excited was that this was about what I, what I was about to say before that card flipped out was that even if you are someone like who needs to go get a tomato from a recipe for the recipe, right? You'll go out and you'll get in your car, and because you made that decision, you work with spirit, right? The magician talks about all tools available, and your one of your tools is the divine. You will get in your car and go, all right, I'm going to the store. I made this hard. I don't want to, but I'm going to the store because I need the tomato, right? And it's like spirit would be like, hey, if you go to this store that's like two minutes away rather than like eight minutes away, they have a tomato just for you. And you'll be like, hmm. And you may not even get that. You know what I'm saying? But you may not even get like the, the download that like, hey, this, why, about, why not try here? And you'll try there first and boom, the tomato you need. Man, you just need one and they got the one tomato last one on the shelf. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you will <clears throat> not wait. Okay. Ooh, love downloads, love spirits. So as I look down, I said not wait. I also noticed the death card is a form of the knight card, right? They're like the knights in the, like in the suits, right? It's like, even though something may cause you to have to shatter your old belief, and shatter old belief doesn't have to mean something monumental, right? It could even be just like, for example, that simple tomato. Uh, damn, sometimes I think of so many big words in my, there's so many words in my lexicon, bro, that like, Sometimes it just, when I'm channeling, it just fucking jumbles because I'm trying to think of three tier words. That comes naturally when I'm talking, but like when I'm channeling, it's so weird. Okay. But the example, that's what the fuck I was thinking. How did I, see I'm talking about? Like, I'm, how did I forget the word example? Um, but then also in the same breath, also know the meaning to the word colloquial. Whatever. Anyways, but like, in the, like in the example, like not only are you someone to just like, it doesn't have to be monumental, right? Because a change in a, a death moment could just mean <sighs> overcoming that laziness aspect of you, right? And not that we don't have moments where we're just like, absolutely not. And by the way, you don't have to go get that fucking tomato. You could be like, yeah, make it without it. <laughs> but I'm saying if you, you know what I'm saying? If you truly want something and want to move on through something, you adapt to the situation and you adapt to the situation itself. Not just saying like, oh, maybe I can try this or that, but it's like, you'll you'll look at the situation, all facts at hand and go, okay, this is what I could do. This is what I could not do, right? So if I want to solve the solution, I can either do this or not do it. But it's like, what I'm getting is that like, you are someone who changes drastically all the time. Even though drastically can be small to you, it's like memory. Like, I just heard muscle memory as well. So like, you could be someone who just, you could be a natural thinker, focus. You could be a natural thinker, um, and by that I mean like, um, and by that I mean just someone who is naturally always coming up with solutions to problems. You may even come up with solutions to other people's problems, and like, I just heard someone come up with solutions. Like, you may think of better ways to solve situations, like better than like the people around you. Okay. Communicate. And the only communication symbol that's a bat. If it, the fucking thing will focus. Yes, I'm my face, that's fine. There it is. It's a bath. 
And bats don't have the normal way of communication. They have different ways of communication. But that brings me back to the energy of the magician, right? E even if you don't have a way of doing something, you'll find a way. You'll find a way. Your innovation and your expertise and the things that you've been through is what makes you beautiful. It makes you amazing because people will look upon that and be very confused about how you make things happen. How do you make things do what you want them to do? It's like people will watch things and like even they watch situations like again back to the energy of watching you go through situation right that create this ten of swords energy right they create this energy of leaving you to choose between two different things like you'll always choose what's best for you and people may watch you go through these situations and think oh there's no way that they can get through that right but then they watch you do it this like they'll watch you come back and be like oh wait you made it out and you made it out with more than what you had Yes, because that was the intention, and that's what I wanted, right? Like, if you're in a situation where you're not, like, for example, just the, the job you don't like, and you want to get out of that job, right? You'll put the work in. You don't have to tell everybody. You don't have to do anything. You'll just do what you know how to do, and that is use your memory, your wisdom, right? The things you've learned and put into your mental space that allows you to think of different things and situations, right? You will adapt to the situation and learn what is and what what is it, right? What are the facts about the situation? What? And when I say facts, I also mean you'll learn about the different things that like you contributed to the situation, right? What did I do that was contribute to this right and even like for example people may say this but like if you stay with somebody who cheats too much like who cheats over and over again it's your choice to stay fight me which so that's what i'm not gonna bother my subscribers but like you know what i mean like if you if you choose to stay that means you are choosing to be in a place that allows you to go through like a mental hell that's weird it's crazy but it's like you don't do that like you'll watch like you'll listen to your inner voice and go what did I do? What did that, even if that means you stayed too long, you're like, okay. Staying, too, and when I say that, like, I mean, like, you'll look at it and be like, okay, I stayed too long. That made me feel this way, this way, and this way, and this is the way I'm feeling now. So those emotions lead to this emotion, and I don't want to feel this right now. So you'll leave. And <laughs> you're know funny. I was going to say the way you communicate is probably what makes you beautiful as well, but like, Spirit says, no, it's the way you communicate with spirit, with the divine that makes you beautiful. It's like people could have a mystery. People could have a mystery. You are a mystery, right? But people could be very intrigued and very confused. Could I just say Confucius? Conf it's an old vine, but like confused about how you communicate, like how you get things through, again, like how you get more than what you had in the previous situation they watched you go through the situation they didn't watch what you did behind the scenes they didn't watch the communications that you had with spirit they didn't watch the prayer the journaling the scripting the the hard work you put in right like they didn't watch all of that so it's very confusing to people outside looking in like how the hell did you just do that like a magic trick if you will it doesn't help to put up the card as a flex and then the fucking camera blurs that's weird Anyways, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Pal Two, for I'm gonna leave that there. Um, thank you, Pal Two, for tuning into this video on what makes you so beautiful. Okay, um, I appreciate all the support, everybody that everybody's been giving me this far on the channel. It's really, really, really. I said it before. It's really heartwarming, only because I don't have another word for it at the moment. But like, I can't explain to you physically how those comments and all your comments and likes and subscribes and all these different things make me feel like there are times when people will subscribe to my channel i'm at work and like i'll get so giddy because i'm like oh. it gives me just the encouragement and excitement to do it over again not do it over again but like to do another video right and sometimes it's true and like i'll, I'll admit like sometimes it's like oh, damn because i've had it kind of before and i'm rambling now anyways love that guys um uh, sorry about the weird, weird cage thing. I'm a skinny bitch. I have muscle. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, please like and subscribe, or send this to anyone who needs to hear it or should just hear it. Why they're awesome, right? Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, there's something else I have to say. Can't remember it, so that's what it is. Anyways, love you guys. Bless and be bros, and I will see you guys next time. All right. Blessed to be, bros. Welcome to Pile 3. This to your video on what makes you beautiful. This is your pile if you chose Pile 3, which is going to be your strength card. And my dog, who is just... What? Whoa. What? That's crazy. The magician just came out. Okay. 
you know, I'm not, I don't want to say all these piles are connected, but like a lot of each pile had, had one card or two cards that represented what the other Jesus, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's. Okay, anyways, right off the bat with the strength card, I'm getting someone who is obviously strong, right? But not just strong. It's like you will tame the beast, and strength doesn't always have to mean what, how you. It doesn't always have to mean how you apply that strength to others, but more so how you apply that strength to yourself. You are someone who is disciplined. You are someone who is prideful and not only, and not prideful in the toxic negative way, but prideful in the way that you, okay, so also apologize for my uh, dog. She is on her new bone that I bought her yesterday. She loves it. And uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> but like strength is also in how you discipline your, Jesus Christ. That one was aggressively out, so. It came out in reverse, and I don't always take reverses, but I don't mind it. What the hell? Um, but yeah, strength isn't always in how you apply that to others, right? And how you show others your strength, but it's also how you discipline yourself, right? You're someone who is able to apply their strength to oneself. So this, it's almost like whatever you dish out, you can give to yourself, right? You're, you're someone who's balanced, right? And by that, I mean, if you are someone who wants to take control of their life, right? Wants to take control of what what comes to them, right? And how their life looks like, right? You're not just, it's like people could come to you for advice and you'll tell them that kind of thing, right? Like you need to take control of your life and do this and so on. So looking at you and do whatever this but it's like you there's a lot of people who, there are a lot of people who will come do that right and give that type of advice and never and i mean never in a million years actually apply that to their lives and it's insane but it's like you apply that to your life you are someone who will go okay i need more discipline i need to do this right I'm like, okay thank you baby you're so sweet you're so sweet oh my gosh you're someone who will <laughs> I almost saw hearing because of this, right, that you are someone, like the lion card, you're someone who will not only tame the beast, but you're also, there's also strength in your softer side, right? There's strength in you journaling every day. There's strength in you giving yourself a spiritual bath, spiritual bath. The, the way I said S was really weird. That was like cold quip, but like spiritual, that's weird. But you don't give yourself like a spiritual bath. Okay, I'm getting somebody's ancestor coming through as well. Um, for this, but what makes you beautiful is that you are you show your strength in your resilience, not just in physical strength. You show your strength in your softness, in the way that you take care of other things, the way you take care of yourself, the way you take care of your family, your friends, your the way you take care of your tasks, right? Your your bills, your your responsibilities, right? Strength is more than just talking about how physically strong you are. If you can bench press 325, and maybe you can, maybe you're someone who can bench press 325. Don't please don't knock over the camera. Like, what? I don't like you. I swear I don't like you. I'm trying to do your call. She didn't like this during the video. So maybe you guys may have animals or again, with the strength card coming through, animalistic instincts, you guys may work off of a primal. This is not the bone, it's the other one. God. What? What? Can you not eat that match? Why are you so interrupting me there? Oh my God. Let me throw up my nap so I guess you want to play. <clears throat> um, okay. I'm so sorry about this. This bothers you. I don't know what to tell you. I try to, I try to work on it. She does, she's normally not like this. Okay. Okay, but yeah, like your strength comes from how you handle everything, what you do and how you do it, right? The first card to come out was the magician, right? What tools do you have available to you that lend you that strength, right? What things do you have around you, internal and external around you that can help you in each and every one of your situations, right? It's like you instantly, it's like what makes you beautiful is people watch you and see you and they see you handle everything with such a grace, with such a vigor, right? With such a vitality that is unmatched, right? It's like your resilience to the things that may have brought you down or tried to bring you down, even things that could be continuing to try to bring you down is unmatched, right? It's, un it's unbelievable to people how you simply go after what you want, right? It's like something you desire is yours and it's like you don't even... You don't even say nothing, you just go after it. It's almost like on site type shit, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that thing, oh, I want it. I'm just gonna go after it. 
I'll see you guys later. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. And I'm I not talking about just people, right? And I'm not really talking about people at all. But, like, I just heard it could be people. You could be someone who, like, goes out and's like, ooh, I know what I want. And that's someone I want. Bye. Right? But, like, the, your goals, your endeavors, your, the things you want. Like, if you want something, you're going to get it. And that doesn't just mean, when I say go after it, that doesn't just mean go after it and be like, ooh, that's mine. Because it's not yours because you simply want it. It's yours because you put in the work and effort to get it. And that's what makes you different, that makes you beautiful, is that you put in that work and effort to go get the things you want. Whatever it is, you want a new car, you're gonna go You're gonna go hard at work. You're gonna go hard on your bills and make sure that your credit's good and this is good, right? You're gonna do all the things that you need to do, go through all the situations that you, other people, man, you may be someone who can come up with a lot of different solutions to things um, in a very innovative kind of way, right? In, in, a, in a very, in, a very different kind of way where people will look at you and see how you solved the situation and be very conflicted and very confused on how you found that particular solution or that particular part of a solution, right? Like how, how, how they're almost like, almost like, wow, I would have never thought of that. And it's like, of course you wouldn't because you're not me, baby. It's okay. Um, we also have the page of wands that came out, right? Like you are a free spirit, someone who is just, and it's funny because the message on the card says, keep your eyes on your, keep your eye on your goals and enjoy every moment. That's what I mean. Like you go after your goals with a vigor, a vitality. You're not someone who, you're not someone to let your goals tire you out. Matter of fact, you let your goals be the things that keep you, that help you keep your head up. You know what I mean? Like if anybody asked you what you're living for and you may have absolute, hell no. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, you may, like, again, you may be someone who goes after your goal, but it's like, you're not going to let your goals be something to drag you down. Your goals may be something, like, for example, if you, again, if you have something, if you have almost nothing to live for, and I don't mean it like that, but you, but hear me out. Like, you may not have a lot of friends in your life. You may not have a lot of family or whatever, like, a romantic sense uh, of friends as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may not have a lot of people in your life, but people may wonder, how is it that you keep looking younger and younger? How is it that you keep looking beautiful you keep looking lol but like how do you keep looking vital and vigorous and how do you look this stunning all the time and it's like because you're going after the things you, that you want to go after even if you may not have friends or a lot of people around you or a lot of things that like uh, you may not have a lot let me put it this way you may not have a lot of things that society says you need to have to be a successful person but you're your successful person yet you're okay you took the loudest story onyx if i let you out you can't come back in so i'm fucking done Hold on. Sorry about that. Dogs are like children, and that's not a joke. Because uh, I love her there. But damn. Um. Yeah, you're someone who, like, you're someone. Oh, damn, I forgot what I meant. But anyways, um, you're someone who can like actually get through the shit you get through, and 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 it's not. And it's like you don't lose your love for life. And matter of fact, it's almost like your life, your love for life is revitalized in your in every new goal that you have. Every new obstacle that you have is almost like a way to prove yourself, right? Like a lion, you will jump over each hurdle and continue to move on with such a grace that is so, I just heard uncanny, but that's something I'm looking for. Um, that is like, so enamoring right like like people will look at you and go how the fuck do they keep doing it how do they look better than the last time i saw them how do they feel better than the last time i saw them i swear the last time i saw them they were in this very harsh predicament like what happened it's like you chose to revitalize yourself by using what you have available and what you have available is your vitality is your vigor right it is the way that you take care of yourself you groom yourself the way that you because back to that lion pride, right? It's the way that you get through every situation by thinking of every possible outcome. Ah, and you know what's crazy? So the king of swords in reverse is someone who is always plotting, right? Someone who is like thinking a lot, right? It can sometimes mean overthinking and you might be someone who overthinks, but like it's, like, it's not like you'll ever really be someone who shows that because it's like the decisions and the outcomes of your situations don't necessarily they don't really go with the actual idea of overthinking. But it's like, even if, if you overthink, it's like you could use, and that's what I mean, like the magician energy, like you use every tool that you have available. And if you are someone who naturally overthinks, right? 
you can get past that, but like, hey, I, I overthink sometimes too. We're all human, right? And it's like you could overthink, but it's instead of using that to overthink negatively, you overthink positively, right? Instead of overthinking about how things could go wrong and how the situation could be dire and how, you know, it could bring you down or whatever, it's like you, instead you choose to overthink about how to get yourself out of situations. So instead of thinking seven different ways for you to end up fucking failing in the situation, it's like you think of 10 different ways of how you can succeed. And you'll try each one until you fucking have it, until you fucking have it, okay? And simple as that. It's like you are someone like, <clears throat> it's like the unexpected will happen to you and then it's almost like you expect it. It's almost like you expect the unexpected and that's what makes people be like, what the holy hell? Like what makes you beautiful, Pile 3, is that you are <clears throat> literally a ball of fire. Even the King of Swords is someone is an energy of air and fire, right? Page of Wands, fire energy, right? It, it's, it's crazy. Also earth energy as well. Am I wrong? I know air energy. No, earth energy, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like someone who is just, whoop, 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 okay, baby, we'll, ta we'll take it. That's not a bad thing. So we have the nine of pentacles, right? And, <clears throat> and the nine of pentacles come with the message of enjoy the results of all your hard work, right? It's like, it, and that's what I mean by like revitalize yourself is that like you won't let your goals be something to bring you down, but rather to be something that, Matter that again that make gives you that encouragement, gives you that spirit lifting energy. It's like and what and the one way to do that is by enjoying the things that you created for yourself. If you're someone who wanted a new car, right, and you worked your ass off for months to get this new car, enjoy the new car. Don't just always you know, a lot of people will get to one goal and be like, all right, what's next? And it's like, wait, give yourself a second to enjoy what it is that you just accomplished. And you're someone who does that. You will give yourself time to enjoy the thing that you just accomplished. Because with the things that you accomplish, you recognize your power. It's like, what makes you beautiful is that you could have all this energy, this this Aries, I'm getting I'm getting fire energy. So a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but a lot of Leo energy, right? The energy of and Leo in my decision, in my decision, in my opinion, <laughs> out of all the fire signs, especially one who dated in both, God, dog. Um, have I dated all three? Yeah, I think I dated all three. That's not the point though, but like, I'm just saying that like, in my opinion, Leos are, every one Leo that I've come into, oh, also my brother's a Leo, why do I forget about that? Um, a lot of situations that when I come into Leos, they're, they're very fiery, they're very, they have that fire energy, but they are the most loving, in my opinion, the most compassionate of all the fire signs, right? So they don't lose that vitality of life. They don't lose that energy of, like caring about yourself, caring about the things that you've accomplished, right? It's almost like I'm getting this image and energy of someone who is just like, for example, you, if you, for example, back to like the new car thing, it's like you have a new car, right? And you worked hard for it. It's not just that you have a new car. It's like your new car is a new part of you. It's a new, like you're someone who would get in the car and go, good morning car. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't lose that spice of life. You don't lose that energy to go, I'm going to enjoy this and enjoy it. You will. Right. And I think that is so, I want to laugh right now. I think that is so sweet and so adorable about three. Like you are my adorable beautiful pal like you are just absolutely adorable. i think i'm gonna make that a nice video too but like <clears throat> that's when i look down in the eight of pentacles no, sorry, the nine of pentacles also represents self-care like that's what i mean that prideful energy of being like i care about myself i'm going to make this like you'll customize your car like this is crazy but this is just this is coming i'm getting the energy of someone who will customize their car and by customize i mean like you'll put in new you'll put in the steering wheel cover and new seat covers and maybe lights and it's not just because you want your car to be cool and fit you it's like you really want your car to feel beautiful if that makes sense and if it doesn't then this may not be your pal but like i'm just getting this energy of someone who we like like even even if you get new clothes you're someone who's like You'll wear the clothes, like for example, oh my God, this is so weird, but like I'm getting this energy of someone who will like wear like their new shirt to a, like an event because you want to show the shirt off, but you also want the shirt to show itself off, if that makes sense. Not that you're crazy, I'm not, and then, let me get this straight, I'm not telling, I'm not saying that like you're crazy or something, like you're so insane that you talk to your clothes, but like I'm saying that like you have such a respect and such a beauty for, and such a beauty for life that like, uh, I'm sorry, a love for the beauty of life that like everything that you have is a part of you. Nothing goes neglected, right? Not even a, like I'm getting someone who talks to their plants, right? You like you'll pat your bed every morning because that's so weird. I don't, just, I want to see this, but like I'm just seeing someone who really cares about the things they have. And it's like you don't 
want to lose the love for the things that you have, right? It's, you know, a lot of people, I'm just going back to this new car thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? The people get a new car and they'll treat it like shit. And it's like, why did you even work that hard to do this? It's like, you will treat everything with respect. You won't like, you're not going to drive crazy so it doesn't feel like it's, you know what I'm saying? The car doesn't feel abused. You know what I'm saying? It's just that kind of energy, which I think is very rare and very sweet. I just, it just feels like, a, you just feel like a lot of fun to be around, Power 3, if I'm being quite honest with you. You just feel like somebody who is just, a real great joy to be around. But we also have the Eight of Wands here as well. <clears throat> oh, shit. And it's crazy because I said Sagittarius energy. Then maybe that's why I felt it. So the Sagittarius energy as well. Also, I really don't know if I did Sagittarius. I'm not, I fucked with that probably before. Whatever. That's not the point. Not the point. Not the point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but carry the message to take action on your ideas. Life is moving ahead. Right? Like that, the energy of moving forward. Moving forward. But without that energy of damn i gotta do this next or like like you really will move and for, move forward with the enjoyment of life and, and i love that these are across from each other right like look at the look at look at, look at, look at focus focus hopefully you see what i'm saying he's playing with the bird he's talking he's talking, to, he's talking to the bird the smallest aspect one of the smallest aspects of life that people take for granted a lot it's like you don't take things for granted pile three and that's what makes you absolutely beautiful it makes you beautiful that like people will see you go through the things you go through and you may even be you know what i'm also getting i'm also getting like even if you're going after that new car right you may have a car right now that's kind of shit right that's kind of like not you can see my dog outside i'm gonna make sure she's not doing anything fucking ridiculous Ooh, yes, baby. Give it to me. Right? You may be someone who's going after your new car, but, like, you may have a car that's kind of not crappy, because I don't say crappy, but it's, like, almost like, almost like that. Like, you don't want to call you. Like, you could have a crappy car at the moment, and, like, you don't, but you're not someone who wants to call your car crappy because you don't want to hurt its feelings. You know what I mean? I think Spirit sees that, and it's, like, even Spirit thinks it's beautiful, because, I mean, how can you not be, like, aw, he really, they really appreciate, like, all the things that, like, we give them or that they accomplish, and it's, like, and maybe that's just it too. Like you also appreciate the things that spirit gives you, but also you also appreciate the things that you've accomplished, right? And you appreciate the things that you will. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Sorry for the camera shake. As you can see, I'm dealing with a lot right now. Okay. Well, I'll take them because I can move them up though. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we have the hunt card. We have peace. We have power, care, and we also have the cunning, which came out first, right? But that's what I mean. Like the again, like the planning, the the, the mental, like the plotting, right? The, the the king of swords energy in reverse, like the, the plotting your life, right? Detailing, like you could be something. You could be like the grand master of your life, and or, or not. That's what you want to be, right? You don't want to let life take you, right? And maybe that's why you have to have this care for life is that like you don't let life take you you don't let life bitch you out you know what i mean like sometimes a lot of people that's, and that's what i mean like people will focus on their goals sometimes in the mindset of the, like they are trying to distract themselves right but you don't want to distract yourself you want to be there for every moment you want to be present for like god balthry you were just so gorgeous like you were so beautiful like you're like this is a pile of someone who like you want to be there even when it's struggling you still will not run and i think that's where that strength comes from is going like i will be present for this moment even if it's shitty and it's like some people could look at that and be like for real though and it's like you don't want to escape just a little bit and it's like no i mean i mean not like a little bit you know you could right hell get a blunt or two get a drink or two let's get it i get it i get it i get it like be life and sometimes but like what i mean is that like you still want to be there a lot of people will try to escape life and therefore make it a pattern an actual habit of doing it and to the point where it's almost detrimental to their, to their character their soul right they don't want to live through life they, they just want to be people can be like you are someone god what makes you beautiful about three is that you are someone who will literally plan your life and go through every step knowing how hard it's going to be but you your belief and your faith in your strength right the magician energy and what you've been through before and how you've handled situations prior that are similar to this but not this you're even someone who can i'm getting like you are so strong that like you have the power to end cycles and like you end them in such a way that like people 
are just stunned. Like, just fucking stunned. Like, how did Pile 3 get to where they got to and still be happy? It's like, you could have a lot of people, you could even be going through the same situations as other people, right? I think a lot of times we forget that a lot of situations we go through are, yes, of course, different, but then also very similar to a lot of people a lot of people go through, right? Like, until I started this channel, I thought all my problems were just mine. And then I realized, oh, no, we all were raised by sucky people. Got it, cool. Um, why am, I, why, why, why am I to start? She's outside. She didn't bark my door. She wants to. Oh, God. Oh, fun fact. So, it's not a fun fact, but it's, it's, it's kind of cute. There's a neighbor dog that my dog, they, they bark at each other. And they're both girls. And I think it's just cute. They're just funny because they they're they two black dogs. They look like each other. And I, I, bought them over one time, I bought them over one time to play, but that's when we just moved here. So, it was a little nervous for her. But, like, I think I may do it again. Anyways, so, <laughs> we. I'm just going to go through every card until we... Get the message, okay? Because spirit has a lot of message. So the hunt, right? Sagittarius energy, right? Fire energy, again. That energy of hunting, having an eagle eye, right? Of I'm also getting Scorpio, too. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Virgo as well. Um, but that energy of having a keen eye for what it is that you want, right? Having the ability to hone in on what actually makes you light up right like like so i mean like having a a set vision and a set goal and not that you stick to it to the point where like you can't deviate away from the one set plan like you can see every outcome and you understand that like i'm getting someone who's in love with the journey like you could be someone who just like loves to overcome loves to get to where you want to get to right but uh, between hunt and we also between power we also have peace right aries energy right that's true power just True, just fucking fire energy, just like the emperor energy, right? Getting through that, like, oh, I'll give you a fun fact. So when I was flipping through earlier, the emperor flipped out and I put it back because I wasn't done shuffling. But like, that's just a funny how, like, even when I'm like, no, I'm not taking that spirit. It's like, oh, yes, you'll, you'll get it anyway. But like, yeah, that, that Aries energy, that power of... Okay, so that's a weird thing. So like, I, I always say I love the way spirit sets things up sometimes because sometimes I put things on the table without even realizing it. And um, it's just funny because I'm like down the middle and again, the strength card is at the top. We have magician in the middle and we have power at the bottom. Like it through the through all of it, through all of the, like if we just take everything right outside and through the core of it, just the core of your being is true and absolute power. True power to be able to go through the things that you go through, to be able to come back to your strength, your internal strength, your internal power, your internal knowledge like all of like what makes you beautiful is that you are i god this is so crazy you are just so fucking amazing like you will always come back to who you are right you'll always find peace in what you like what you have right so we have free like this free spirit energy this this self-care this luxury energy and the peace right and this look at the turtle it's so fancy it's a fancy little turtle like it just looks like you have peace on one side you have care and like movement on the other and then outside you have this cunning and hunt like energy right like you are going to go after what you go after and maybe that's what people see is that like on from the outside looking in they don't see your inner strength but maybe they do maybe that's what makes you beautiful that people you, people can see your inner strength and it just baffles them right but you're always after what you're after you're always into the next thing you're always on to the next thing and the next thing doesn't mean that you forget what you accomplished this far that being on to the next thing doesn't mean that you forgot all the hard work you put into this one thing before it means it just simply means that you are saying hey I want this, I desire this, I'm gonna go after it. And then it, being able to come back to your power that you have inside is absolutely incredible. But it's not just because you have this power inside because power wanes from time to time, right? But I think from the core of it, your soul is just this powerful being, but it's like from the outside also protects that energy, right? You're someone who will give yourself a spiritual bath because you feel negative energy. You will be someone who will ground yourself in re like realigning your goals, right? Seeing what's working, right? doing all of that work seems like nothing to everybody else because it's like i'm not doing that but like you do it and it's like people may even look at you do it and be like that's bullshit that's complete bullshit but it's not bullshit when a new car shows up it's not bullshit when that new go when my new clothes show up in my new place or my you know my, my new notoriety right like pile three you are beautiful because you get what you it's like you not it's like you get what's coming to you because you go after what like that that energy of what you desire desires you right and you know that 
And this is just so sweet. I don't know. It just, it's just like, this is energy of like, some I'm not getting kind of cold. I should take, I should take my jacket back off, but I'm, I'm almost done with the video, so hey. Anyways, mm, I'm healthy. I am all channeled out because I am also very hungry too because I didn't eat all morning and it is now two o'clock, but hey, <laughs> I probably should have ate something like an hour ago, a couple hours ago. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there, pal three. Beautiful, 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 energetically powerful pal three. I believe that there. Um, if you, is it, is it, la, 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 okay. <laughs> if the video rep, represented, rep, <laughs> resonated with you, please hit the like, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, feel free to share this video with you. Think any, anybody you think may need it, want to hear it, or just should hear it. Um, thank you for watching whatever um, time of day you are watching this as, or listening to it, I don't know. And um, I will see you guys at the next reading. Blessed be, bros. Oh. I don't know if I did, I don't know if I thanked you guys earlier, but like, I want to thank everybody who has been showing me support on this channel. Um, you guys have no idea what that means to me. It is so, I can only just say heartwarming because I have lack of a better term. I had to find another term for it, but like, it, I just cannot describe to you physically what it feels like to read your comments through the day or to realize I have a new subscriber. Um, to get those notifications during the day is simply just amazing and I am so glad and I hope you guys will continue to comment because one thing I love more than anything more than just subscribers and likes is that I love to hear from you guys and hear how this video resonated with you or what you feel or even all the compliments I've been getting love it love it love it love it love it all right but blessed be bros thank you for coming back to my channel for another video I hope I can at least hyped you up or made you feel good on your car ride to work okay um I will say this though. It is kind of, it is, oh, no, that's rambling. All right. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Blessed be bros. Love you guys.